Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another part of Let's Play The Surging Storm, where we're about to get one probably last fight with Pentos before I have to start the war again. Because Liza Aaron is an absolute coward and decides that uh, every 10 seconds, she's like, nah, I don't want to be at war anymore. Now, before anyone's like, Joe, you sound salty. I'm not salty. I'm just annoyed at the general idea of having to redeclare this war every 10 seconds. Because there is no legitimate reason for the AI to want to peace out. Like, none at all. Like, we should not be piecing out for any other circumstances. We are, we have more than enough forces in every place right now. We are the strongest faction in the game. Peace shouldn't even be on our mind. Like, we could be in a multi-faction fucking fight and we should still be just like, nah, we got this. But the fact that we are constantly rushing to get peace is annoying. But alas, I have influence. So until I don't have influence, we're just going to keep redeclaring war. And that is how we're going to win this. Constant declarations of war. I know I'm a fucking brill. I'm brilliant. I'm I'm very aware. And fuck. Well, that was a problem. I honestly thought I was gonna be able to set uh, set fire to them there. Oh god, yeah. Nope. That's. A... I'm fucking sorry. Oh, are you kidding me? They set up directly against the fucking wall. Oh, fuck you, game. That's that's just dirty. Even I don't do that. They're not even set up against a red wall so that you can run out. No, no, they're set up specifically against an invisible wall. This ain't Total War, you little shitheads. Seeing versus the fucking edge of the map. No wank pheasants. Now I don't feel anywhere near as bad about setting all you fuckers on fire. Like, there was actually part of me that was a little bit like, ah, maybe I could, you know, be, you know, a little less mean. But now, now, nah, fuck you. You guys deserve this. Yes, we are slowly beating Pentoshi. Just ignore the fact that we're about to lose a siege because Liza Aaron's a dipshit and wants to get peace with these ass wipes. I think the biggest problem is I don't know why she wants to get beat. And I can't, like, I, I there is no way of me being able to, like, troubleshoot because the issue doesn't make any sense. Like, there's no pause I can think of in the game to make this happen. Other than the static war, which we've yeah, turned like, off. Yeah. It could be the events, but then again, no, it can't be the events because we're suffering this issue in the North, remember? So this is genuinely a issue that I don't understand the problem behind. It's just there's an issue, but there's no logical explanation for it. Unless there is, and I apparently just don't know it, which I don't think is the case, but uh, still. Uh, Emma, you are cavalry, and you've got Nimble Steed, and of course, Veterinarian. Well done. How many hours until peace? 23. Oh no, sorry, 44. I've got loads of time. Let's start make this start burning this bitch down. All we have to do is make sure it doesn't have siege weapons and we will we, be able to charge it. Oh, wait. Peace is no longer on the table? Oh, cool. Good. Because I didn't want peace anyway. Oh, we took Mir, thank fuck. I was going to be very annoyed after all the work I did put in to take that. I did give it to someone else to take, but that was purely because of all the extra... I, I put all the work in, so, you know. Okay, good. We're not actually getting peace anymore. Good, good, good. I mean, I don't really need the reinforcements, but... I mean, the reinforcements are just going to make me do this the easy way by sending troops. At this point, like I said, we just need to take as much as physically possible so we don't have to worry anymore. All right, there's that done. Again, I'm taking these castles before I take settlements because I just want to make sure we have everything. Like, I want to slowly wind my way up here. Yeah, we did lose these two, which is unfortunate. We also lost those as well, I believe, but... It takes time to get places, you know? And one thing I kind of want to do is look at the Discord for this mod and see if there's like a Discord. If on the Discord it says that there's a reason why the AI decides that war is uh, 
in a game built around war, they don't like it. Because if, if there is, it'd be really good to know. You know what? Sod it. I can do two things at once. I'll open up Discord. I have streamer mode enabled by default, so whenever I open Discord, it's not going to be a problem. And I do apologize I'm doing this mid-part, but I feel like it's better to give you guys uh, an immediate, like, answers to the questions. Uh, I just don't actually know where the uh, complaint... Well, not, not complaints, but I don't know where to look. Uh, you know, let's just do this battle and we'll worry about it later. Because I legitimately don't know where to look on the Discord without, you know, spending probably more minutes on it than I would be willing to spend while we're playing. I'm going to go open the front door. Actually, no, fuck that. We're not. We use, we've been using Draegar too much. Get off my beautiful dragon's back and we'll go... Uh, we'll rush in in this amazing armor. I'm also going to go over this way because apparently uh, going that way was not the option I chose. Because I'm a dumbass, I guess. Who knows? I mean, let's be honest, I probably know, but it's okay. Alright. This is probably going to take us a little bit longer to get inside than I was hoping. But all you have to do is kind of find the right part of the, by the uh, formation. Just keep pushing and you'll get it. Hello, wife of mine. I mean, they don't have many troops and their troops aren't exactly great. So this shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Joe, you know this. Overhead only when you're at the front. The fact... That, why are my men not pushing in deeper? The dumbasses. But surely we got this. Come on. Ow. Bricks. Okay. There we go. Nice and slowly. We got this. See? Sometimes all it takes is a nice slow... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Um. Ow. I had my fucking shield up and I still got smacked in the face there. Yeah, this is where I get knocked unconscious. Easily. If I don't get knocked unconscious here, that's a fucking miracle. Don't get me wrong, I do like the idea of, yep, I got a miracle. Look at that. Right. Yeah, people are escaping. We don't want that because we don't want to do a keep battle because keep battles take up time. Time we don't really have because I want to keep focusing on destroying Pentos before I have an aneurysm and, uh, you know, go on, like, you know, not myself unconscious from being pure angry. Uh, it's pillage. Lovely. Oh, they're, they're sieging uh, a Devo. Let's go stop them doing that. That's, uh, very rude. Who the, also, who the fuck are these guys and how long have they been a member of my nation, our nation? You're Mirish. Why do we have Mirish people? Like, I'm not bothered, but at the same time, why? Like. Oh, shit. You're actually uh, doing a little bit of damage there. Good for you. Arnold, congratulations. He's of age. While wow, this little lovely cinematic is going on, I'm going to have a quick look around on the Discord, see if I can find what I was looking for.
Yeah, my lovely son. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's anything that explains... Or anybody seems, else seems to be having this problem. So I just seem to be having this problem alone. Fucking lovely. Uh, Becca. You're now uh, well built. Congratulations. Ah, Arnold. Congratulations. You've got dead aims. Um... Yeah, you are, of course, going to be probably on horseback. I'm just going to give you points and all this. Uh, let's get these all up to seven. Eight. Yeah, we'll do eight. And then we'll put two points in there for giggles, I guess. There we go. Um, right, let's attack. Yeah, the Pentoshi aren't exactly strong, even even against us, you know. Yeah, just fucking charge. Nobody needs to fire arrows, to so just charge. Like, at this point, there's legit... Actually, you know what? If you want to fire arrows, fire arrows, but there's legitimately no fucking reason to. Uh, I'm not going to take out the enemy cavalry, because I feel like that's probably not even necessary. I'm just going to do it anyway. Hello. Bye bye. Your existence met its uh, uh, natural expiration date. I apologize. Now, I don't apologize for killing them. I apologize for being the one to tell them about their, uh, you know, end of warranty of life. Or end of, uh, you know, trial of life. All right, there we go. Take out these dipshits over there. Yeah, the Pentoshi Lancers went down like a bloody... Uh, well, they just went down very quickly. Let's just say that. you got to give it to them. The remainder of their men do try the hardest to, you know, you know have some semblance of okayness to it. Alas, they suck too much, though. Right. Take you dipshits out. Lovely. And yep, they're already on recruits. Holy shit. That's Yeah, they really are. They've we've rocked them. Like they clearly didn't didn't have enough money to have really good troops. Like the few times we've took out their armies, we've really taken them out. Unless they've like been at war with a lot of people who have been taking them out already. Which could be the, uh... Well, then again, they've got quite a lot of land, so that, maybe that isn't the stake. I don't actually know. It doesn't really fucking matter now, does it? Because, you know, they're already... We've already bent them over and, uh... Inserted ourselves anally. Reinforced half bard in cool. Make sure we get our... Bring our daughter to us, so she, uh... Sorry. Oh, our son. Oh, my lovely cats sleep on the back of my couch. As if, if, if anybody wanted, I do, wonders, I do have a couch in my office, so she's just laid up. She, she always likes to come in and lay on it, which is cute. Uh, now, we do have, I'm going to say, we've taken out all of the forts here, so our castles. Now we can actually move on to the city that I want to take. Now, city taking cities are the hard thing to do because, you know, the enemy tend to, you know, do a very good job of refusing to let you fucking take it or... Even then, our, like, even then, our, the dumb bitch that we have of a uh, leader is like, let's get peace with them. But in all fairness, I don't think I have enough men to siege this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to quickly do a strategy. I'm going to push, put you out and kick you out. Kick you out. And I'm going to kick... Wait, wait. Was that 137 or... One second, let me just go back to the zeros. It was 17, it was 37, good. 12 days? Ah, fuck it, whatever. Just get over here anyway. The good thing is I spit those... Oh, those little wankers. They did not do their job at all. Right. I still caught up to them, but, you know, that didn't work. I was trying to use those little armies to sprint out and attack the enemy so I could, you know... Guarantee a, a fight. Motor, soldier, oh, no. Yeah, let's not specifically tell the. Let's just let you charge randomly. Eh? 
Because telling them to charge at someone specific is not a good idea. Not in this instance, anyway. Normally, it of course is, as you guys know, I love that system. But at the same time, yeah. Don't think it's going to work as well against these guys. Alright. I'm going to swing around here and I'm going to get... Hello. Um, what do you mean there's an issue with the fucking terrain? That terrain's flat as a fucking flat-chested twat. Oh, my wife held up. Good. All right, so we'll burn this army down very quickly. Take over around the next city. And once we take over, take out Pentos, we know we're going to be in a very good position. Because I'm going to be happy because we've actually taken out someone. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'd rather be at war with the North and, you know, you know, take out the North. Because once the North's gone, you know, that's another bunch of people who have got, like... You know, we're securing things at home then. Whereas at the moment, we're just securing things in the fucking ass end of nowhere. Because there's no way else to take anything else. Because, you know, we can't stay at war long enough. And... Game, there's like... It's like a slight incline. Why can I not use my Dragon Breath? There we go. Just, just kill enough of these dipshits off so we can get we can get these guys to, you know, run away. So the fact that I physically can't use my ability up, the, up this hill is hilarious. There we go. Beautiful. They're all gone. Put these idiots in prison. I uh, don't really care about the rest of that stuff. Don't really give a shit about the people I've put in prison, to be fair. We have loads of reinforced half barding. Good. Right, Bolozo, let's go. Hey, we took the city. Good. That means these dipshits are slowly but surely being dealt with. As they say. The good thing is, I'm at the very least not having to use more renown, sorry, more influence than I want to use. Eh, I really don't give a shit what that guy does. As long as I can take these dipshits out, that's what matters, you know? Let's hope they don't try and take that. Well, let's hope they do try to take it, but let's hope that we are able to take this first. I don't really want to backtrack. Backtracking takes effort. Okay, so someone is going over there to defend. Good. Whether or not they're going to... Nope, they've changed again, so they're coming over here now to help. I hate the AI so much. The fact that they see attacking as more prosperous than defending makes no sense. But the good thing is we've got this siege down and we might be able to go stop them taking the other thing. So let's uh, get straight into this one. In charge. All right, let's go. I mean, okay, I was about to say I may have got myself trapped then, but no, no, we didn't. We're good. Great guy, no walking all over my troops this time, please. What the fuck did I just say, you gigantic dip? All right, let's break these dipshits down. Shouldn't take as long. I mean, they're like, you know, it's not like these guys are heavily armored, really. I think the biggest problem is, you know, there's just a lot of them. But then again, that's like a problem most places, isn't it? I right, take you out. Take you out. Ow. On. As they say, slowly but surely wins the race here. You're down, good. 
this dipshit out next. Good. Alright. Wow, yeah, we're just overrunning them at this point. I feel, I feel this is one of the most successful, like, early attacks we've had. Okay, we'll let them run some troops away, because after all, we can just pull out and, you know, send our troops in, you know, to finish off the troops instead of, you know, wasting our time. Uh, it doesn't look like we've even broke in over here, so let's go help over there. Yeah, this is going to be the best place for us. I do not know why the game keeps stirring a little bit every so often as well. I might need to upgrade. It might be because my graphic drivers aren't upgraded. I'll upgrade those after this, I think, I guess. A little annoying that there's little, like, ticks. Because at the same time, I have, like, a really good fucking computer. So I should never have ticks like that. Not at this, anyway. Not in Battle Lord, anyway. There we go. Got that guy down. There we go. Bunch more troops. And the only issue is these guys have got fucking shields and I don't... I wish I cut through street shields straight away. Oh shit, I've just put myself in a horrible position. I didn't realize the enemy archers were all the way over there. Okay. We may actually get knocked out in this fight. It's been a while since we've been knocked out in a fight, but... Uh, where the fuck are you guys coming from? You're just crawling out the goddamn fucking in-between. Okay, that guy's allowed to get away because I couldn't stop him. Fuck her. Yeah, these guys don't have enough armor on them, so they can they can just run away from me, and I can't catch them. Which is a little annoying, to be honest. Yeah, I'm just gonna end the battle because I I haven't really got. I haven't got, let's be honest, I haven't got the strength to be able to stop these guys from running away. Yeah, wasn't, I knew, I knew it wasn't going to take much to deal with them, so. Yeah. Family got points, good for them, no one died, right? Go yeah, good. Village that. Perfect, so Belozo is now taken, so we can now go defend uh, Terol, Terol, that, this shit all up here. Yeah, you don't look like you're going to defend him, mate. If you are, you're doing a fucking shit job for defense. Yeah, this battle's unfortunately not worth doing, but let's just uh, send our troops in. And we actually got none of them. And there was a Knight of the Veil I could have took there. Damn it. Should have been paying more attention. Right, let's go sell some stuff in Belozo, because I am actually running out of money. Look at that. Only took a couple of wars to actually get a consistent fucking war going. Ridiculous. Emma, let's give you braced and let's give you... Yeah, well built. Well built's always better, even if you're trying to go for like a burst build. Because, you know, you just want to slow down. You just want your armor to like not be a pain in the ass, you know? Okay. Right, and now we just slowly sell the rest of this shite. Now, I will at some point sell uh, my uh, weapons, or I'll just m melt them down and use them to make a new spear or something. I don't fucking know. All right, let's go get this. Uh, let's go get Galona next. How are we doing in terms of their uh, strength? So we are up to 34,000. They're down to 2,000. And the fact that we're paying 14,000 between the North and the, uh, the Targaryens is ridiculous. Right. Let's try this again. So which one of you dipshits is too low for to actually remain useful to me? 37. So let's take kick you out. Oh, Meren Tran, you wanker. Expecting anything from Meren Tran was my own mistake, I guess. No. Yeah, just, just die. I'm not wasting my time playing a battle that doesn't need to be played. There we go. All right, let's go take Galona now. See? See, the thing is, I don't want to be a war with Pentosh. Not because, like, fighting Pentosh is boring, but because it's just, there's no point. You're going to... Oh, whatever. Like, there's legitimately no reason to give a rat's ass about these guys, because we're just going to get peace with them. As we have done every single time. Because for some reason, 
Liza Aaron just scares herself into peace with them every time. Alice, let's give you a job as... To find your own way. Go and compete in some tournaments as well. Well done. Oh, look at that. They took the fort. Proud of them, I guess. You know, they were able to fucking do something useful. Slowly but surely, we will take this. I thought that bitch was trying to get peace then. I was about... Yep. Peace with House Targaryen paying 16 grand a day. I don't know why for the life of me we would want to do that. But hey, I guess spending like, you know, over like two grand a day just for me to help pay that piece is uh, something that she's interested in. Oh, we chose not to make well done counsel. But unfortunately, guys, we're going to leave this here. And in the next part, we'll take this forward out. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel memberships if you're interested. And I'll see you on the next one. See you guys then.